Hello and welcome to this UCAT preparation advice video. So in this video we're going to be talking about the quantitative reasoning section of the UCAT and specifically we're going to be talking about time zones. So time zone questions can be one of the more frustrating question types in the UCAT because in theory all of the information is given to you and it only really requires a simple calculation to get to the answer but a lot of the time the way that it's presented to you can just get a little bit confusing so in this video we're going to have a look at this question type we're going to think about what you need to know to be able to answer these questions we're going to go through an example together and then we're also going to cover some key tips and techniques that should help you approach these questions successfully In terms of what you will need to know for time zone questions, when it comes to converting time zones, you need to understand the impact of an event such as a flight or a long international phone call on the time zone for either party in either nation involved in the question. And you need to remember that often these questions will purposefully involve moving from one day to another just to make things more tricky for you. So you do need to make sure that you've practiced converting times from one day to the next in a different time zone. I've got a typical question that you might be asked when it comes to time zones in quantitative reasoning down here in front of me. And I'll also pop it up on the screen here so that you can follow along. So a typical question that you're going to be asked will be something along the lines of Timothy has to catch a flight from New York, which departs at 1800 EST. The flight takes five hours, although it leaves an hour late. At what time in GMT does he land in London? And alongside that information, you'd be provided with a time zone table or information on time zones that would allow you to see that New York is five hours behind London. So to be able to work out the answer in this question, we're going to take that five hour flight and we're going to add one hour onto that because the flight is one hour late. And then we're going to add that to the time that the flight sets off so that we can find when the flight is going to land. So in this case, that's going to give you midnight EST. And then the final step in this calculation is remembering that GMT is five hours ahead of EST, which means that that flight is landing at 5 a.m. GMT. When it comes to tips and tricks for these types of questions, there are generally two approaches that you can take to get to the answer. And it's actually worth trying both of these out to see which one works best for you. So approach number one is actually going to be immediately adding or subtracting the time difference between the two cities right off the bat and then dealing with all of the information about the flight length, etc. And then the other approach, which is what we just did in the example, is going to be firstly calculating all of the information related to the flight, the length, any delays, and then finally transferring it into a different time zone. There really is no correct way of handling these questions, but the faster you are, the more time you're going to save. So do just make sure that you practice and that you're comfortable with calculating time zones. And when you are practicing, make sure that you're getting those more complex questions in there. So that might involve, you know, the flight being delayed, like we just went through in the question, or that might involve a fueling stop, for example, in a different city, in a different time zone, before you're actually reaching your final destination. In this video, we've talked about what time zone questions tend to involve. We've gone through a practice question together, and we've also talked about different approaches that you can take when it comes to answering these questions. So hopefully you're feeling a lot more confident on tackling time zone conversions now. 